my name is Stephen Patrick Brown and welcome to Defiant Instinct. This week I decided to bring a basic Q&A video. I will be posting once a week on Sundays at 3 p.m. I would love it if you guys can press that subscribe button down below as well as like, comment, and share this video with as many people as you possibly can. But let's just jump right into this video. I'm from Stanford, Connecticut. It's just a small inner city. It's like literally probably an hour outside of um, New York um, City. I've been here like all my life. Growing up here is a little bit more quiet, a little bit more conservative. But yeah, Stanford. <laughs> my favorite drink. Mm. I guess at the end of the day, like if you bring me a brisk, like I'm like totally like satisfied. Um, I don't know, I just, that's just weird, but that's just something I like. My favorite piece of clothing I own, man. I really love all my clothes. Like I really have been trying to develop like my wardrobe, like to the point where I'm really thinking about the process and like how it really matches my aesthetic, but I want to say right about now, my Glasgow white um, optic um, shirting from Acne Studios that has been like my go-to thing so far. I people watch probably every second of the day. Like I'm very observant and I'm always keen on listening to people. Just, you know, being aware of what's going around. So I would literally say every second. My dream car is the Mercedes G63, like hands down, all blacked out, matte, interior. Probably, I really probably want to do like that peanut butter material on the inside. Totally like, that's my dream. I would have to say Tony Craig. He had a kind of like this unnatural piece of artwork he did recently and um, his exhibition all about like unnatural shapes creating a more fluid composition so forth and so on um, let's see here what inspires me to be better is really my environment the people that I'm around I feel like the people is really really important to me because I notice anywhere I go if the energy is not right I'm not right in a because I kind of feed off the power of people and, the, and their minds and the way they think and the, the vibes in which they give off. Firestarter by, um, I think it's, I um, forgot her name, Sally something, but it's so, so, so good. It literally takes you through a step-by-step -step process on developing a goals list, your vision on what you want, asking you questions to really make you think and really hone down on your craft and your passion and purpose in life. It's just being happy, like doing what it is that you enjoy doing, even if it's like the smallest little hobby or activity. And it just is something that people just can't live without. Um, it could just be you being a great listener or knowing how to draw portraits of people and so forth and so on. Just creating in a way. I tend to feel alive mostly when I'm traveling, I'm experiencing new things, and most importantly when I'm being creative and really trying to hone in on my skills, just develop some type of form of work, um, whether it be through film, photography, um, going for what it is that I imagine in my head and that I want to do. I just Really excited for you guys to be on this journey and to actually start engaging with a lot of people from around the world that share this creative um, thinking as I do. Um, so thank you, God bless, and I will see you guys next week.